you very well know that UBS differ from OBS in pension calculation, minimum pension amount, lump sum, payment, employee contribution. You know that the central government has announced a new pension scheme for government employees called Unified Pension Scheme. That is abbreviated as UPS. The UPS will provide an assured pension scheme to benefit 90 lakh central government employees. The government has announced the UPS due to employee backlash regarding lower corpus and lower returns from the national pension system NPS and withdrawal of the old pension OPS. The UPS announced by the government has some significant differences from the OPS. You know that Unified Pension Scheme UPS for central government employees approved five important things or five key points to know. The five key points are as number one, basics of the calculation of assured pension changes both the UPS and OPS offer assured pension to government employee. However, there is a difference between the two schemes in how pension are calculated under the OPS and assured pension was fixed at 50% of last done basic salary plus DNS allowance DA. However, under the UPS, the assured pension will be average basic salary plus DA done the pension like previous 12 months before superannuation. This would mean that government employee at retirement will get 50% of average of last 20 month salary plus DA. This means that if employee is promoted to a higher pay scale for the last few months of his tenure or her tenure with the government then she or he will not get 50 percent of last pay down but slightly lower amount as it would be 50 percentage of average of last 12 months. Second point, employee will have to contribute to UPS. Under the UPS, an employee is required to contribute to the pension fund. This is similar to an employee's contribution to national pension system NPS according to report by Times of India, employees must contribute 10% of their basic pay and dearness allowance to UPS. The government will also contribute to the UPS will be increased from 40% or 14% currently contribute to NPS to 18.5 under the NPS scheme. The government currently contributes 14% whereas employee contribute 10% to national pension scheme. Under the old pension scheme, the employee did not contribute such kind of money. Due to this, the old pension scheme was fiscally unsustainable in the long run. According to the media reports, third one, tax benefits. A central government employees is currently eligible for tax benefits for the government's contribution to the NPS scheme. A deduction of 14% is available under both old and new tax regimes under the Income Tax Act 1961. As there was no employee contribution to the OPS old pension system, no tax benefits were available. The government needed to clarify if employee the government contribution are available for any tax benefits. Fourth, higher assured minimum pension in unified pension scheme. The unified pension scheme offers an assured minimum pension of rupees 10,000 per month at the time of retirement after a minimum of 10 years of service. According to government pensioners portal, the minimum pension is presently rupees 9,000 per month after 10 year minimum service. Lump sum 51 point lump sum payment without reduction of pension. Communication commutation of the pension, the unified pension scheme offers lump sum payment at the time of superannuation. The lump sum payment will be calculated as 1 upon 10th of the monthly employment. Payment, minimum payment plus DA as on the date of superannuation for every 6 months of service completed. This payment will not reduce the quantum of assured pension as per the government's press release. This appears to be better than OPS old pension scheme because under the latter lump sum could be taken at the time of retirement only via communicate, communi commutation of pension 
which reduce the pension amount under the old pension scheme a central government servant can commute a portion of pension not exceeding 40 percentage into a lump sum payment no medical examination is required if the option is exercised within one year of retirement if the option is exercised after the expiry of one year he she will have to undergo a medical examination by the specified competent authority lump sum payable payable is a calculated with reference to the communication table the monthly pension will stand reduced by the portion commuted the commuted portion with restore on the expiry of 15 year from the date of recipient of commuted value of pension dns relief however will continue to be calculated on the basic of original pension without reduction of commuted portion the formula for arriving for commuted value of pension cpv 40 percent is commutation factor the common feature between ops and ups you know that one common feature between ops and ups is availability of a inflation index pension to compensate for the raising cost of living under the ops old pension scheme the pension for retirees is revised twice a year on january 1st as well as on july 1st whenever the government announces a hike the government announces a hike in dearness allowance da and dearness relief dr under the ups unified pension scheme inflation indexation will be applied to the assured pension the assured family pension and the assured minimum pension dns relief based on all india consumer price index for industrial worker aicpi iw as in case of service employees bill given in ups as per government announcement if you like video please share my video to all and if you more like the video please subscribe for more videos